Picoscope 7, version 7.0.114, channel measurement scales, and using time rulers. This video is sponsored by AES Wave. The units of measure for this A scale are over here on the left in blue. Now the scale can be easily moved around by placing my cursor right here next to the units of measure and it turns to a double headed arrow. If I click my mouse and drag it down, I can reposition this on the screen. Now when I hit a place where it's not on a graduation, zero mark has that little line next to it. If however I'm able to get that line right on another graduation, then it becomes direct zero. To quickly move this back to the zero position on the screen, come up to the A channel and then go over to the display and here is your offset right here. Here we could adjust the offset some more or if we click in the center we can simply type in a number or we can go back to zero. If we enable the B channel we'll see the amperage scale right on top of the voltage scale. And over on the right hand side of the screen in red are the amperage scale values. I can do the same thing to reposition the amperage scale values and this can make it easier to see the two patterns separated like this. This too can be repositioned by going over to the display section under the B channel and here we notice we're at a minus 30%. I can click on that and come over and enter zero and that will put it back to the starting position. If I were to activate the C channel and the D channel, then on the left hand side you would see the A channel in blue and the C channel in green. Over on the right hand side we would see the D channel in brown and the B channel in red. Back on the A channel, we can adjust the scale manually or automatically. Notice that if we choose a scale that's too small, we'll get this red indicator at the top that says channel over range. It means we've got a value that's greater than the capabilities of what we're reading. Here I have turned on the B channel and turned off the A channel. Notice because there's no other channel that's turned on, the B channel values are on the left. And once again, if I go to some, a manual range over here, if I choose a five amp range, you'll notice that the pattern gets smaller because it has adjusted for the larger scale. Again, going to a plus or minus 10, and once again, it's smaller. If I do go to a plus or minus one, we'll now hit that over range. So the proper value to measure this pattern is at a plus or minus two amps. I have now turned channels A and B on. This is an injector pattern and A represents voltage and B represents the amperage. We can measure the amount of on time with the time rulers. Down in the lower left hand corner, there's this clear box. And if I put my pointer in it, it turns to a double headed arrow. If I click and drag, I can set the first line right when the amperage starts to rise. And then I can set the other time ruler right when the amperage drops. The ruler dialog box will now show in the screen. It'll show the position of the first ruler, then it'll show the position of the second ruler, but what's most important is it shows what's known as delta, which is the difference between the two positions. This is telling me that this injector has been on for 1.15 milliseconds. You can clear the time rulers two different ways. You can either take and drag it off of the screen, or you can click the X in the ruler box. 